Hello everyone, my name is Enrique, thanks for watching. Today we are presenting you the Spirit Camera made by Duota in Prague, former Czechoslovakia. It's a light camera, not very small, and it's all made by Backlight, except for the front metal plates. Uh, the camera, uh, being a medium format camera, uses 120 film, and you can choose to take 16 exposures with the frame inside, so you can take uh, 16 6 by 4.5 photos, or you can take the frames out and there will be 12 exposures you can take, 6 by 6. To check the number, there are two red windows on the back, the upper one is for the 6x6 and the lower one is for the 6x4. There's not really much to say about this camera. The most important thing is that the quality of the image is pretty nice. Very very sharp in the middle, little bit soft, softer in the borders, but that's okay for me. The lens of the camera is an acromat with two different aperture settings. You have f11 and f16. In some models, they are accompanied by a symbol. In this case, the cloud and the sun. The lens, as you can see, when not in use, screws into the body, like the feds of the Leicas, and also acts as the focusing. So you have to match the red dot to the distance you want to focus. The first symbol, by the way, quite funny symbols, there's half men without arms, I guess it's made from portraits. The second symbol for group photos and the last one for landscape or something like that. Beside the aperture, we had to talk about the shutter speeds. Uh, there were different models. Uh, this one is 30th, 60th and 125th of a second, plus B mode, very useful. But some other models, they were like 25th, 50th and 75th of a second, so even slower shutter speeds. There are a few funny things about the camera. The first one is the viewfinder. If you look at the camera from the front, there's nothing wrong, right? Since perfectly normal, it's cool, we are okay, but as soon as you turn the camera around, oh man, look at the viewfinder, seems like a joke, right? But actually, it performs very well, it's bright, it's clear. Another interesting thing of this camera is the advanced lever, or advanced knob, I think, it's at the bottom to pass the film. After this Corina, there were a Corina 2, the next model, but it was totally the same camera, but it has like a flash connection on the top of the camera, so you can put the, the flash. This camera came with the cap and also a very sturdy camera case, leather, made for this camera, so it's kind, quite difficult to put the camera inside, but even more difficult to take it out. You will always lose the cap on the on the process, as you can see here. Uh, beside the camera case, the strap seems indestructible. Very very sturdy, very nice. But as we said before, it's in the wrong side of the camera. Because if you want to use the camera with one hand, for example, your right one, there is no way you can press the shutter button. Maybe like this. But then I will have my, myself in the camera. So let's load some film and take it out for a while.
Ahí, perfecto. <risa>